another video for Auto Solutions Checkpoint. Um, today we're going to be doing a wee bit of maintenance on the work wagon. Um, it's needing rear shoes. Um, they've been squeaking for a good few weeks, so I want to get sorted with that. Um, I've no doubt in my mind that they need change, so I've ordered them already. Overnight parts from Japan. Yeah, so we're going to get this sorted today and aye, just to go, do a wee whip round and see if it needs anything. Okay, so now that we've got the drum off, you run your finger around it, if it's got a lip, you need to grind it down. This here one doesn't have a lip, but we're going to grind it down anyway. Now, looking over at the shoes, they are worn down. This side wasn't the side that was causing all the bother. So, we're going to take it off anyway. So these are the new shoes, um, they just come bare. Um, years ago they used to come with everything, um, just shows you over the years how stingy uh, manufacturers are, what they can be, so we're just going to use the bits of the previous uh, shoes, just replicate everything onto the new shoes. Uh, aye, get the job done. Um, but aye, so far so good. That really didn't come off too bad. Okay, so we just gotta get the retaining clips that hold the old shoes on. They can be an absolute bugger sometimes. Um, but aye, if you're using the right tools, it'll be a doddle. I'm just using pointy nose pliers. Um, there is specific pliers to use for these here, but just call it laziness. I wasn't going to go and hope about trying to find it. So, just a wee tip whenever you're doing things like this take a photo. Uh, because if you're removing this and it comes away and you can't remember where it all goes it's, it can be a bit daunting so if you take a photo and then at least you have reference where everything goes where all the springs and that go so you just got to be careful when you're removing it try and get it off on one piece and um, so it's easier to replicate you can just do all the bits one by one okay so you would like remove the springs and put, put the spring onto the new shoes and the adjuster onto the new shoes the handbrake arm onto the new shoes and but you know and it's kind of self-explanatory uh, just take your time with it if you've never done anything like this before just take your time at it uh, and you can do it you know Just for future reference, these things are on eBay. 
he quit. The, the protective face, but they're supposed to be non steam but that's fully steamed up, so I wouldn't recommend buying them. Absolute waste of money. So we're now ready to fit the shoes on and adjust the self adjuster up to suit the drums. So before offering the shoes up to the hub, uh, you want to connect the handbrake cable onto the wee latch first. Then whenever you fit the shoes up over the hub, uh, you need to get the top part of the shoes um, in the wee seats on the wheel cylinder. Okay. Um, Obviously the retaining clip at the back as well. You just need to be very careful, very patient with it. Just make sure it's still. Uh, see the, the top? This is obviously slipped out. We've got the Darth Mask on. But it's the Darth Mask, it's gonna save your eyes. Okay, the hand 
some corn dogs. What? Better change it before I make gravy. You ever notice that every single cost of coffee machine, the coffee tastes different? That's stinking. Sometimes it's nice. So we've eventually got it off. Okay, the camera seems to be cutting off because it's cut off half of this. Um, so I've got them on and I just got to adjust it up for the, the drum. But I need to take the drum over and give it a wee clean up like the other one. So I'll not bore you with the detail, but this is where I am with it. But I'll bring this one over once I've done and I'll start recording. Okay, so whenever you're adjusting this here, you've got a little cog here, and that cog goes anti-clockwise, okay? The same way the other side, the other side uh, of the vehicle, it goes clockwise, okay? Whenever you're adjusting, this is anti-clockwise, so it needs to go up. Basically, you hold your wee bit out, so whenever you're holding it out with your finger, you get the screwdriver in. Just rest it in the hub and you just move it up a bit of slightly until it goes all the way in. Okay, so see whenever it's all, all the way in, that's going to be you start to measure the resistance uh, whenever you're putting your drum on. So basically, when it's adjusted right in, the drum should just flop on. So you take it off, adjust it back out again, so you're going clockwise. Um, and whenever you start getting a bit of resistance, that's when you know that you've got your drum uh, on and the brake adjusted. So that's us good to go. We'll get the wheel on, um, do the same as what we've done on the other side. Let it down and tighten the lock wheel nuts with the crack bar and nip the wheels up with the crack bar as well. So wheels on and all we need to do is clear the tools up and let it down and we'll pick the wheels up properly. Gonna prop it up a little bit um, as you can see just with the balance of this um, the back end of this here sits up where the garage door is. You don't actually realise how long this is until it's actually on your ramp. So gonna bring that up as far as I can go. 
and get underneath it and hopefully adjust the handbrake. So as you can see, it's very, very close. We don't want to bring it up any further. Just get a wee Jeff Chuck underneath. See if we've got an adjuster. So we've got an adjuster. Adjust it here. The adjuster from the inside. So no doubt it'll be underneath the armrest. So before I put it down, I'm gonna need to order some showcase for this. My side's alright. Well, I'm going to weep in a wee bit. I'm going to be weeping after and after and into it. Let's see if we want the covers off. An absolute piece of piss to do, so no problem there. Put the centre console back on. Just slide over the top. Pops in here first. Put your hand, put your hand. Ah. Only spread them across. So do that one first. Then the one to help us with it. And this here one you just need to nip up. You want to over tighten it. This snaps whenever you're taking it off, you'll not be able to get it off the wheel at all. We'll be able to take it out a wee run and see how we get on. Okay, so I've just done two miles in the L200 to check the brakes, and so far so good. Everything's working fine, the handbrake's working fine. Um, so, aye, it's a good job well done. Um, we just got a get the strut on, I'm going to do that in a week's time and also I'm going to just service up the front brakes now the, the front brakes, the, the pads had been done um, a few months ago but I'm just generally just going to strip it down give it a clean and put it back together again just uh, for that wee bit of extra maintenance Hi folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video for the L200. Um, I'm going to be doing a video pretty shortly uh, on the struts at the back. Um, I'll think up another few things I can do um, just to make the video a bit longer for you. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it and please, please like it, subscribe, um, comment and share with your friends if you if you like the content and aye, I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, 10-10 over and out. <laughs>